So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna click on check for updates. Make sure your computer is fully up to date. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to search and type in system information. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna be looking at both system manufacturer and system model. You wanna see what you have. In my case for my system model, I'm using the B450M DS3H motherboard. So what we wanna do next is we wanna go into our BIOS. So you wanna find out how to get into your BIOS. However, this is gonna be different for everyone depending on your system manufacturer and your system model. So in my case, because my system model is the B450M DS3H, I'm gonna just go to any web browser and then type in B450M DS3H BIOS button. And then once you're in here, you just wanna look around until you can find the button that you need to press to get into your BIOS. For me, it's gonna be delete. For you, it might be delete, enter, F2, F10, something else. It's just gonna depend on your system manufacturer and your system model. So you just need to find out what key you need to press to get into your BIOS depending on your system model and your system manufacturer. And now for the next step, we're gonna be enabling TPM. I'm gonna be doing this though with my Lenovo ThinkPad. So it's not gonna be with that BIOS that I have that I was showing you earlier. It's gonna be with my laptop. So now for my laptop, for me personally, I need to press on F1 on my keyboard. I need to keep on pressing on F1. So first you wanna make sure that your computer or your laptop is turned off, fully turned off. So now I'm just gonna turn on my laptop. And now as my laptop's turning on, I'm gonna be pressing on my BIOS button, which is gonna be F1. I'm gonna keep on pressing on F1. I'm pressing it, which now took me into my BIOS. And now I'm in my Lenovo ThinkPad BIOS. Again, it's gonna be looking different for you guys as well if you're using something else. But the steps are pretty much gonna be the same. So now once you're in here, in my case, I'm just gonna to go to the security tab. So I'm gonna be using the right arrow key to go to security. And now once I'm here, I'm gonna go down and then go to security chip. Again, it's gonna be looking different for you guys, but it's still pretty much gonna be the same. So you just wanna look for a tab that says like security or something similar to this. And you could also find out online from like another video or like another website or something, how to do this on your BIOS. So now in my case, I'm gonna click on enter on security chip. And now for me, it's gonna be saying security chip selection. In your case, it might be saying something like TPM, TPM 2.0. Because I'm using a very old laptop, it says this for me. So now I'm gonna click on enter. Now in my case, I'm gonna be selecting discrete TPM. But again, in your case, it should be saying like TPM 2.0, 1.2, something along these lines. However, you just wanna make sure you have TPM enabled. And now right here for me, it says security chip. I'm gonna go down and I click on enter. I'm gonna make sure that I have it active. In your case, it's probably gonna be seeing enabled or disabled. You're gonna make sure that it's enabled. And I click on enter. And then once you do that, you just wanna get out of your BIOS now. For me, it's gonna be the F10 button. So I'm gonna click on F10 to get out of my BIOS. For you, it's gonna be different probably. And then click on enter. There might be a tab saying like save and exit, something like that on the top. You could just go to save and exit. Now it's gonna take you back to Windows and then the problem should be fixed.